Today I will be making a whole grilled chicken. For the ingredients for my marinade, I will be using one tablespoon of chopped dried onion, one tablespoon of red pepper flakes, one tablespoon of sal de colima or kosher salt if you don't have it, seven garlic cloves, one tablespoon of ground pepper, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, one tablespoon of olive oil, two packets of sazon goya with azafrán. For my wet ingredients, I will be using one cup of orange juice, one cup of pineapple juice, and three limes. Once we have all the ingredients in our blender, we're gonna close it up and blend them well. I will be cutting the tail off of this chicken, trimming any excess fat. I will also be removing the inside of the chicken. I normally remove the spine out and flatten it out. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something different. I will be cutting it down the middle of the breastbone.
I'm gonna be separating the skin from the chicken so that the marinade could coat everything evenly. I'm going to be placing my chicken inside of a container and adding my marinade. I want to make sure that my marinade submerges my chicken completely. Now I'll cover it and put it inside the fridge for approximately 4 hours. Now, usually I use red onion for this. Unfortunately, today I only have white onion. I'm gonna start by cutting it in half, then cutting it julienne style. Once I have them in a bowl, I will be adding four limes, garlic salt, six dashes of seasoning sauce, mix well and place in the fridge. Now after four hours of being marinated, I'm gonna be taking it out and adding a little bit more salt and pepper. Now, it's time to get it on the grill. All right, here's a pro tip. I use aluminum foil, I bunch it into a ball, and I clean my grill top. This works awesome. Um, I don't use an onion, I don't use any of that stuff. Uh, the aluminum foil actually leaves it very clean. All right, I'm gonna be using a full chimney with a tumbleweed. I never use lighter fluid.
All right, once your grill is ready and hot, I'm gonna be placing my whole chicken right over the fire. I do this just to get a good sear on both sides, then I will be placing it in indirect heat. Told cook time should be anywhere between 35 to 45 minutes, depending on how big your bird is. All right, we have our final product. We have a beautiful, delicious chicken. I'm gonna be cutting that up into cubes and making tacos out of it. Thank you very much again for joining me on another video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. That's all for now from us. Blazing Barbecue in Kitchen. Barbecue is so good, make you want to slap your papa.